I don't see cycling ever not being a part of my life. I think my best rides are when I get up in the morning, make coffee without really having a plan of where I'm going to ride or how hard I'm going to ride. I've always come back to cycling because I feel it's the one thing that I can do that I know is completely on me um, and how much effort I want to put into it. There's nobody else I can blame for anything. It's, it's opportunity for me to go out, be alone with my bike and my thoughts. And it's, it's been a, a great therapeutic time for me to really just think about things, whether that's work or it's family or anything else. It's me time that I get to spend. I've always been in love with riding bicycles from a very young age. I rode BMX bikes, raced BMX bikes a little bit, but my dad rode road bikes and he would take me for rides while I'd be on my BMX bike. And I always enjoyed the idea of starting at point A and riding to point B and I'd go farther and further. And it got to a point where BMX bike just wasn't the right machine for that. I really got joy out of just the freedom of being able to take off and explore and have the freedom of being on your own. I got serious about riding bikes when I was probably 14 or 15 years old and then over the years that just progressed and ended up riding for one of the premier coaches in the world who was the Olympic coach at the time. I was probably the only guy in my high school that shaved my legs and wore spandex and at a point it wore on me a little bit because I was hanging out with much older people, not partying, really focused on training and racing and I got to a point in my late teens where I decided not to pursue it as a profession. I'd say in high school I was probably an average student I had a hard time connecting with the traditional education system and tried to go to college, but ultimately it, it wasn't for me. I was kind of in and out of college for a couple of years. And for me, it was really diving into entrepreneurship and starting my own business and working with some of the biggest brands in the world through the agency. That led me to coming into GoPro, which over a decade was on a real rocket ship of a ride.
work took the front seat in, in what I was doing. It was probably in 2018 where I started just going through these feelings of inadequacy and anxiety and if I was at the heaviest weight I'd ever been in my life, couldn't believe I'd let myself get to that. I felt really alone, I felt really scared. I looked at myself in the mirror and I didn't like what I saw and I recognized I had this internal dialogue and I would talk to myself the way that I wouldn't ever talk to anybody else. It forced me to really rethink things and reprioritize what was important because that internal dialogue and negativity I was having with myself was reflecting on everything in my life. I was at a point in my career where, on paper, I was doing everything right. I was leading a global billion dollar brand and raising three boys, a great wife, but I wasn't balancing it with the personal side. I was putting so much into my work and into my career that I completely neglected other parts of my life. I knew I had to make some significant changes to my life if, if I was going to live. I've tried the gym, I've tried other sports, running, but ultimately bikes were the thing that uh, I knew what I needed to do and how to do it to get back to where I needed to be. Today I see the bike as a tool that allows me to counterbalance other parts of my life. It's an outlet where I can think, um, but most importantly allows me to, to focus on fitness and continually to live a healthy life. It's like going on a long road trip by yourself. It's the idea of just being with yourself, being in your thoughts, and the opportunity to see beautiful places. I think earlier in my life, um, cycling meant something different than it does today. It was more of the competitive spirit. Today as I get older, I think it's just more about the freedom I get from it and having the ability to fully immerse yourself in the moment. So I think it's important to have something in your life that can balance you from other things. It's easy to overcompensate in one area of your life and completely neglect the other part. It's just more of setting milestones and goals that not only I can achieve, but allows me to have something to celebrate as well. Moving forward, I think I'll be riding a bike until someone tells me I'm not allowed to anymore. At least that's the goal. Cycling is part of my DNA, it's who I am, and it will always be a part of me.
Let's start writing our own history Let's take this road Oh, this winding, winding road Let's just take the long way home Just keep going.